Hello, hello. Uh, I have been so lazy lately. I cannot record video. Do I have time? So soon I will start recording a brand new series, and it will it is going to be an interesting series. So in this video, I am going to teach you how you can print a page in PDF just using JavaScript. This is very simple. I had this problem in the past, like how you can print page page as a PDF. Mainly there is two way. Either you use as a backend. There are some PHP libraries that can help you do that one. But for simple invoice stuff, you don't need to use PHP because it will take a little. Uh, it require a little bit of performance. So here I have an invoice page. This is completely HTML, and the th data is also random. I just copied it from Admin LT website. So this is basic stuff. So what we have here is we have a button. Whenever I want to click on the button, it should pop up the print page and we can print this uh, page as a PDF. Or in the future video, I will show you how you can add, uh, how you can print page using the backend or PHP frameworks or libraries, not framework libraries. This button would be for that. So for now, we'll work on this one. If I come to the code, what I did is I have just uh, added a new route here. I say if someone go to the invoice page, what you can do is you can return a view for us. The view name is invoice. So here is the invoice.blade.php and inside the invoice.blade.php I have all the HTML and it is going to extend our app master template from here, layouts.app. And this is basically what we have. But here is the button. So if I scroll down all the way down here, here is the button we have. So whenever I want someone click on this one, it should print the page. How you do that one? In Vue.js, of course, you just write at, then you say click, means if someone click on this one, prevent the default action. It means do not go to this link. Prevent the default action, and then call a function for us. Whatever you can call this function. For me, I just give it print me. This is just a basic function. You don't need to write the parentheses but this is fine you save the file and now you have to define the print me function in your javascript file so i will come to the app.js here i will scroll down i will write this in the global view selector i just want to have access uh, access to this function everywhere in my page maybe i need to use the print me function somewhere else that's why i need that function to be here so this oops this is going to be a print me function and what this is going to do you can just write this is very basic i think most of you know window dot print and it is going to print your page this is this much simple uh, maybe window dot print everything is fine i think we are missing something here yes definitely this is going to be the parameter for this one now you save it no still you have okay what is wrong i think we put a comma here and this is inside the methods print me okay this is equal to a function window dot print so why it is not working oops oh we don't need the colon here so yeah this is our function and this function is going when someone call this one it is going to uh print the window or the document we have so let's test it. If I refresh my page, I just save the file. It did compile. Of course, I am running the the npm run wash in the background. Now, if I click on the print, it is going to pop up the print window for me. This is basic stuff. You can change your uh, destination here. You can print any other type of file. Let's say you wanna print uh, Snagit, which I am recording the video. You can um, save it to Google Drive. For me, I just select PDF and then you click on the print, it is going to save it as invoice for you. So if I come here, I have the test.pdf here. It is saved and now I have access to this one. So you can customize it any way you want, it just print. For example, you don't want Laravel to have to come here, you can do that one. That is the margin of the page, like this is the Laravel. So what you can do is, you can google it however you want to design or you want to design like it should display the page number or you have multiple page all of them are going to work if you have a bigger invoice it will split that into two and three pages 
so what you can do is you can open your app the uh, sas and you can write a little bit of uh, css to design for the print i will just put a little snippet here this is what I use for most of my application. When we say page margin zero, it is going to hide the the margin around your page when you have it. So this time, if I refresh my page, I hope it did compile. It didn't. So yeah, it did compile now. If I refresh again, so we get the new for the new CSS. This time, if I click on the print, it it should not display the laravel at the top yeah it does not display that one it only display our form and now i can print the page however i want so that was it for this video but in the next video i might cover how you can do the php but this is how you want if you want just let me know in the comments because that is not important to do it with php or javascript unless i don't know however you want maybe you have some sensitive information that come from the back end or whatever that is it uh, for this video i hope it has been informative and thank you for watching